Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Milford Haven. Uh, my name is Martin Murphy from Tidal Energy Limited, and I'm uh, your host for this morning, and I'll wrap things up later uh, this afternoon. But this is our seventh energy, marine energy Pembrokeshire annual sem seminar, and our busiest yet. Uh, we have some 170 delegates here today, which is really quite astonishing with uh, half of you staying over for the informal dinner this evening. Joe Kidd said to me on the way in that the only time he's been in the Torch Theatre before is to see a pantomime. Well, sorry, this isn't a pantomime. Um, and also, sadly, there'll be no ice creams at the interval. Uh, but once again, we have attracted a really wide range of delegates, including developers, the supply chain, the research sector, the public sector and community representatives. Particularly like to thank all of those of you, of you who've traveled large distances to be here this morning on a Monday morning, a delightful Monday morning in Milford Haven. I can assure you it's not always like this and I'll show you some of that a little bit later. But um, we would especially like to thank those of you who've traveled from overseas. We've got representatives from the USA, from Germany, from Sweden, and elsewhere at least. I'd particularly like to thank also, on behalf of Marine Energy Pembrokeshire, the event sponsors, the Welsh Government, the Port of Milford Haven, uh, Marine Space, and Burgess Salmon. Now, the aim of the event today is really to provide an update on the current position in Wales. And the fact that so many of you are here today is testimony to the attraction that Wales really has to offer. We uh, will give you updates from uh, Minesto, from Marine Power Systems, from Tidal Lagoon, Swansea Bay, from ourselves, and that combined with the, the two demonstration zones, one in the north, the Tidal Zone being developed by Morlice, and the one in the south of Pembrokeshire by Wave Hub for the Wave Energy. We've got a lot of companies here today looking to benefit from the EU structural funds, the 100 million euros programme that uh, the Welsh European Funding Office is administering on behalf of the Welsh Government. Overall, I'm sure that the country is very well placed to play a leading role in the worldwide marine energy sector. We will encourage you to network widely. Uh, we're trying to give you opportunities in the programme today to do so with plenty of breaks. This follows the feedback that we had from uh, last year's event when obviously you get a lot of value from uh, the opportunity to, uh, to meet colleagues uh, across the industry. Your lanyards are colour-coded, um, so please... Um, for the supply chain, you will have blue ones, developers will be red, statutory bodies will be green, specialist support and academia orange, community representatives black, and uh, Pembrokeshire Coastal Forum and MEP staff are white. And I'll be testing you on that um, at the end of the day. There are also going to be feedback forms again today for you to fill in in order to, for us to prepare perhaps an even better event next year. But this event has just gone on from strength to strength. And again, I thank you for being here today. So in this first session, um, the highlight will be the fact that uh, Edwina Hart, um, the uh, our Minister for Business Innovation, oh, I've got the title wrong, for, um, she is the Minister for Economy, Science and Transport now. And Edwina is joining us at about half past ten. Before that, David Jones and I will give you brief updates on our on our particular progress. And then following that, we've got uh, WEFO and um, Crown Estate to take us up through to the coffee break. Um, so I think enough from me as an introduction and a welcome. Do have a good day. It's your day. We're trying to facilitate that for you in the best way that we can. So please take advantage of it.